Hi Flosstube, um, this will be a bit of a different type of video. I'm going to do a whip parade, so let me get set up and we will be on our way. Okay, here we are. Um, this is my current whip. It is January Garnet Fairy by Mirabilia. Please excuse the shaky cam. I'm using an iPad and it's shaky and I'm hand-holding, so... I hope you don't get too seasick. Um, this is my progress on her. So, yeah, she's the one that I work on all the time right now. Um, I'll admit I'm aching for a new start, but uh, you'll see why I don't actually need one. But here's January Garnet Fairy um, as of where I was last night when I stopped stitching. Here's Stony Creek Autumn Bell Pull. Uh, oh, um, January Garnet Fairy was on is on 32 count ivory linen. Nothing too special about that. So Autumn Bell Pull by Stony Creek. And it's on the called for fabric of oatmeal, 18 count oatmeal um, Ada. I haven't gotten very far. And I'm also leaving out uh, the wheat stalks that are called for. Um, my reasoning behind that is that I don't eat wheat. I have celiac disease and so wheat is like poison to me. Uh, grains basically are poison to me. So I leave them out. So there's that one. Um, another whip that I have right now is... She's in timeout right now, but Royal Holiday by Mirabilia. She is gorgeous. Um, I'm not going to lie. I love her, but she's in timeout right now because I cannot find where I went wrong and it's bugging me. And this is where I'm at with her. I'm off by one stitch and it's irritating me. And I have frogged and frogged and frogged and I'm just done. But she is being stitched on Antique White MG, MG, MCG Textiles. My goodness, I can't talk this morning. But yeah, this is where she's at. Um, there is a little bit more up here, but I'm not about to unroll the scroll frame because then all my tension's screwed up. So, yeah. There we go. And I have Winter Queen by Shannon Christie Designs. Christine, oh my goodness. Christine Designs. And I'm not 100% sure what fabric it's on. I know that it's a hand dyed of some kind, but we'll just go with it's a really pretty blue fabric. And, oh. Let me see if I can unroll her here. I'm doing all the scroll frame ones first so that I can uh, just clear them up. All right. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. There's no beads on her yet, but I have Stitching Mommy to thank for this one. Because um, she was working on it in her floss tube and I got obsessed and yeah. So I have some of the snow down here and a part of her dress there. That's the top half. No beads and no, uh, not much Krennic, but um, yeah. I sub out PT, B, PTB or Petite Treasure Braid anytime that I can just because I absolutely despise Krennic. So that's this one. I am working on Joined in Love by Joan Elliott Designs for my mom. And there we are. And this one is on Antique White 28 count. I'm guessing it's just the standard Witchelt stuff. I, yeah, there's a little bit more of the yellow down here, but um, yeah. 
I went back up so that I could uh, finish the f finish this top portion before moving down to the bottom. And there is a lot of bottom. So that's another one that I'm working on. I have Winter Queen by Mirabilia. I'm working on her. Um, she's also languishing right now, but I hope to get back to her soon. This is where I'm at with her. Yeah, there's a lot of whisper in here, which is that uh, fuzzy thread that you see, kind of like what you saw in uh, a few of my finished pieces from last week's video. All right, and all right, this one's in a cue snap. Um, this is Queen Mermaid, and I managed to get a hold of her, somebody that got doubles when they, it got reprinted, so I managed to get a hold of that and the bead pack, so I'm very excited about that. And this is my tiny start. Uh, the fabric is 28 count deep sea by, I want to say picture this plus, but She'll be beautiful. I just wasn't feeling her when I was stitching her. I wanted to stitch something else. So, yeah. All right. That is all my ones in uh, frames. I will set up again and have all the ones that I have rolled up. All right. Here's my next pile of whips. This is Roses of Provence by Mirabilia. And she is rolling up like crazy because she is on a 32 count um white chocolate hang on i'm using the called for fabric 32 count white chocolate linen by uh Wichelt imports i'm trying to hold it open here with a piece of pattern and my password holder so <laughs> um yeah so i'm beating as i go and yeah there she is and roll her up here. Put her off to the side. Sorry about the shaky. I really do apologize. Um, this is my oldest whip. This is Stony Creek uh, Light of Christmas. I'm stitching it again for my mom. Uh, it's on 14 count black Ada. And this is where I'm at with that. Yeah, it's the black Ada that's making my eyes go buggy. As you can tell, I usually stitch on uh, lighter stuff, but my mom wanted it on the same stuff that's uh, called for, so here we are. So there's that one. Next is Oh Holy Night by Stony Creek. I have a very minimal start on this one. I started and then realized that I hadn't wound all my bobbins for this one, and then I just kind of lost interest for the time being. But... That's what it'll look like when it's done. And that's my little tiny itty bitty start on it. And my next whip is Noah's Ark by Designs by Gloria and Pat. So it's a precious moments. It's so cute. And this is on a 18 count white Ada. Nothing too, I think it's 18 count or is it 28? No, this is 18. 18, 28? Well, one or the other. Anyway, not anything special. And there's my start on that or my progress. There's a lot of back stitching in these, so yeah, you lose interest after a bit. I don't mind back stitching, but once there's that much, then you kind of start going crazy. And my next one, I don't have a finished picture for this, but this is Disney Princesses. And I purchased this one off of Etsy, so it's an online purchase. 
So, and this is on 22 count white hardanger, uh, two over one. So it's very, very dense. And next is um, Enchanted January uh, by Donna Cooler. It's from this book here, Carousel Horses and Cross Stitch. And the finish will look like this. Sorry for the noise. Dropped a book on the floor. And this is my progress on that one. And this is just on 28 count light blue i think i dyed this one myself even um it's just a 28 count blue lugana nothing too spectacular hand dyed by me oh all right um this is i thought i had this one this is uh aurora hang on let me get the pattern Okay, we're back. Enchanted Aurora by Joan Elliott Design. And I dyed this fabric myself. I wanted it to look like the Northern Lights. I have a very minimal start on this one. Yeah, so. Dark fabrics are not my forte. Um, this is Brooks Books Designs. These are just freebie patterns off of her website. These are Christmas animals. That's my progress on that. I have seven little tiny finishes and I'm working on number eight. And then I have A Little Snow by Lizzie Kate. And my progress on that. And I'm, it came as a little kit. Um, and I have all the called for threads, which are all hand dyed. There's that. I have Autumn Fairy by Joan Elliott Designs, and it's 28 count Lugana Nature's Grace. And that is hand dyed by, I. this is a Pagey Lanes. I'll do my best to link everything below. And this is my progress on her. I got a little frustrated with the fractional stitches, but I have since learned how to do that properly, so hopefully I will get back to her soon. Next is Rose Fairy, again by Joan Elliott Designs, and she's on a 32 count Fairy Dreams. Um, I'm not sure exactly who dies that. I think it's a picture that's plus. The other one might be a picture that's plus as well. Anyway, I believe this is the called for fabric. Let me just double check. Um, possibly, I don't know. Anyway, this is my progress on her. Not much. I should get back to her. She's pretty. And this one again, I don't have a... Um, Okay, let's see if I can do this. There we go. I think I got it all on there. This is Moon Sweet Moon by uh, Pashi Narissimo, uh, an Italian designer. And the fabric is... Yeah, there's a lot of uh, Krennic in this. She's on a fat half and 28 count... Twenty-eight count 
I'll link it below. I don't for the life of me remember exactly what it's called, but it's a it's a hand dyed by Paige Lane. I will link that below. She's huge. And she's very close to finished. Um, and this is Winter Santa. It is on a Silk Weaver. Um, Jack Frost by Silk Weaver. Opalescent, 28 count. And this was my first attempt at gridding, and I hate it. So that's why none of my other projects are gridded. I figured I would try it at least. I don't have a finished picture of this, but it is on Stitch Mania. Somebody else is either showing their progress or what, or they finished. I don't remember exactly. But anyway, there we go. And that is the extent of the whips that I am able to find at this time. I have some. They are in storage, and so I don't have access to them right now. But there we go. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Um, if you're ever interested in looking into my bin of, what do we call it? Bin of kitted up projects, let me know and I will film that. Have a great day, everybody.